Hey everybody, Nostalgia Sky coming to you guys with part two, not part two, part three of God of War. So anyways, in the last episode we docked here in the Dock of Athens, you know, hence why it's called a dock. Because you're meant to dock your ship here. There's, there's, there's a lot of health and mana here to get all yummy yummy yummy. So we just have to climb up this ladder. Oh, no cutscene? Uh, kind of. Well, the gates of Athens. Let's see if they're under siege by any monsters. Because now we have a mission to stop. Um, Destroy Ares, and the gods will forgive you your past. Well, that just answered exactly what I was going to say to you guys. So, oh, here's our little bridge across the park. Great, more demon soldiers. So if we didn't find enough of you on the ship. You know how to block, we've already done that. Thank you for making me screw up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting all these beautiful hits in, that was beautiful. Oh, we can't grab these armored guys. They're, they're a little different, you cannot grab them until you can actually push circle. Then I believe you kill them instantly. There we go, break his skull. Or throw him around like he's a rag doll, one or the other. You know, I know we're supposed to be saving the world and such by defeating a god, specifically the god of war Ares, but why are we destroying everything else in the process? Doesn't that seem like a little excessive? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. God, I love that attack so much. Another guy I can just throw? Why did you activate that Kratos? We didn't want to waste that. We need that for when we fight more enemies. But nope, you had to go and waste it. Clearly there looks like there could be some cool little hidden secret down there on the dock, but... Alas, there is not. What's over here? Looks like we got a uh, lever. What's in here? Oh. Well, this looks like it's... Looks like it's a tad bit pointless in here. Oh, maybe not. Wait, are we supposed to go this way? I don't know if we're supposed to go this way, but this is just for a secret. Ah, we'll find out here soon enough. Oh, you dare. There we go. Let's whip him to the other guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, not double kill. You still live? Well, wait, why can't I grab him? For some reason, I cannot grab the enemy. But we still killed him. Ah, you've acquired a phoenix feather. Collect five more of these to increase your overall magic. Well, that'll definitely help us since I seem to waste my magic. I don't know, I really think we're we're supposed to go this way. Oh wait, no, never mind. This was a bonus way, because I believe we were already here. Yeah, we were. So sweet, we did go the secret way first. Well, that just got us some goodies. I see you guys are enjoying the Yoshi's Island Let's Play. I'm glad you guys are. I am personally having fun playing both of these games, so I hope you guys come to love both of them as well. We will be aiming to collect all the goodies in this game. There generally are extra goodies in God of War, uh, so you know you can accidentally forget some. So, otherwise, once you collect all the Gorgonites and all the Phoenix feathers in the game, then um, you get red orbs instead, which is still helpful. What are they running from? Oh, Minotaurs. Ew, god, those are some rabid minotaurs. I'm out of magic, too. Oh, that sucks. I don't believe you can knock these guys into the air, either, so... Don't even bother. Get, like, a block attack on them. There we go. I believe these guys have mini-games, though, for when they're close to dying. Oh, a perfect block again. There we go. 
Press circle rapidly to kill a Minotaur, and it will replenish your health. Oh, I get it. It's one of these ones. Mash, mash, mash! You can kill him other ways to get red orbs, but to get the insta-kill, you just need to mash circle, and it'll give you health, too. This is just a good way if you don't want to have to deal with them anymore. Okay. <laughs> rapidly pushing it. Oh yeah, oh god, there's another one. So heavy attacks are the best for fighting big enemies, obviously. Because they block most of your weaker attacks, but... Oh, that was a weird block. It's like in the middle of another attack. Let's try and kill this guy. Oh, never mind, screw it. We'll just do this as well. Wanted to kill him a different way to get some red orbs, but eh. Don't really want to deal with all his blocking shenanigans today. Yeah. Oh, there's some magic. Kind of came to me a little earlier, don't you think? Any other goodies around here? I don't think so. Oh, another lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Now where are we gonna go? So I think there's like holes on the platform for like maybe spikes and some health down there. What's over here? Ares has brought these beasts to Athens! Without help, the city will fall! The gates destroyed! You'll have to fight another one! Oh, man. Well, it looks like we'll have to find another way. But... Oh, God, an ogre? Is that an ogre? Was that an ogre or a cyclops? God of War has both. Not really sure which of the two this is. It is armored up, so you can't really see it. Oh, that breaks through your block. Never mind, don't want to block that. Now let's do this. There we go. Now let's do it. Oh, this is the button mini game. Okay. I just have to push the right order. I think it's an, I think it's a cyclops. It might be a cy. Oh, great! There's another one. Yo, bro. I love just doing that to interrupt their attack. And got stuck in the ground. Let me guess. Is it gonna, oh, no, it does change. It's not the same thing over and over. This guy's a little more difficult than the last. A third one? Oh, yeah, we can upgrade. I will do that after the fight thing. Great, because of the tax, I couldn't roll. Evade. They call it evade. It's pretty much rolling out of the way. These guys actually aren't that tough. Okay, X. 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 Let me guess. Oh, I thought it was going to be X again. And he went down. Like, look at the orbs they give you. Now, anyways, let's go and upgrade. So we can now upgrade... Okay, so this one costs 1500 this one costs 1650 Bigger damage area, more power, spin attack, or if we upgrade our main weapon, Rage of the Gods, greater damage plus new attack. So we'll do this, just to, uh, you have to hold it down, to power up our weapon. You gotta do this until the bar gets full. And there we go. Apollo's Ascension, Apollo's Offensive, Hermes Rush, Hermes Stomp, and Rage of the Gods. When meter is filled, press L3 and R3 to act. Eh, Let the cool rage enough. of the gods drive your blades, Kratos. Press the... I like how it says depress, but... Okay. I want magic. I do not want health. I need magic. Ooh, it looks like there's some red orbs over here. Definitely need those to get some more upgrades. Because, trust me, going through the game without the upgrades is pretty difficult. You can, but you don't do any damage to enemies. And... Looks like the, that gate has some hidden goodies. Through the gate you see a bridge that leads to Athens, but the gate has been damaged beyond repair. It will never function again. There must be another way to get around on, and onto the bridge. Sorry, my computer is just blocking half the, or the, the end of the text, so it's like, oh, I can't read it. So anyways, clearly we have to go this way. You know, just checking for goodies, because... We also want to find our collectibles such as the Phoenix Feathers and the Minotaur Horns. I really like the whole God of War series. Like, I thought it was really well done. 
Ah. Secret. Which I think that was intended. We did it again. Man, good thing he doesn't, like, just get a little bit closer. He crushes toes. And I'm assuming that's the way we need to go. Uh, anything else to break? I don't think so. So looks like we have to go over here. God, that angle is just weird. It's not bad. Like, I've seen worse, but... It's still kind of weird, you know? Oh, that's not very many red orbs. It looks like we're going to have to do some shimmying across. Oh, shit. Did not realize he would do that if we jumped. I thought it would just help speed things up, but apparently not. You know, you know what? Is there anything over... Oh, there is. Secret. Ooh, our third Gorgon eye. Definitely need that. More magic. We might as well open it. It's not like we're going to have to come back for it. Or even really be able to, probably. And I wish it was an option to go faster. You can't attack either. You literally can't do anything except for jump off. Woo, that almost failed because of the weird camera shift. Wait a minute. Aha! I thought that was too good to have nothing up here. Oh, just orbs. Then again, just saying just orbs is, isn't really an understatement. It, it is a good thing, you know? And, uh, we're standing in midair. Kind of. Halfway. Ah, uh, a new power, I guess. Destroy all these grain sacks to get some more orbs. We're only at one bar of orbs, and this definitely looks like an enemy onslaught, but... Eh, whatever. Let's grab this item. Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress, but your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand, but you must earn such a gift. the Gorgons. Bring me her head, Kratos, and I will give you the ability to wield its power. So we have to kill that naked Medusa and probably get her head. Oh, careful with the, the beam, because that will turn you to stone. And if you do, she can just hit you once and you'll die. You guys can assume what power, you know? Ah, Wrath of the Gods! Die, you son of a bitch! Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna rotate the oh, left stick, okay? And there we go. Medusa is dead. You have acquired Medusa's gaze. Freeze and destroy them all with Medusa's gaze, and the power of the Gorgon will be yours. Really? Oh god damn it, Minotaurs. Hold down L2 and then press square, okay. Well, you're dead. You're also dead. Get away from me, damn ass Minotaurs. Nice! Destroying all the Minotaurs in the in the land. Hey, you, you're not allowed to live. Great, two more. Haha. <laughs> and there we go. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Okay, Aphrodite, you didn't really give me any power up. You literally just, you know, made me rip the head off of a Gorgon and use it as, as a weapon. You're not very useful. Uh, then again, she wasn't that useful to begin with. God, man, use magic so fast, but kills enemies so damn fast as well. It's such a useful ability, plus you get a lot of red orbs. So it definitely is worth it. You can't jump up this ladder for some reason. Oh, that poor guy's dead. Oh, what is this? Huh. 
Looks like we got some ballista going on here. So I'm assuming what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to rotate this. Oh, shit. Never mind. I guess this is what this does, right? Open sesame. There we go. And I assume we just pull this back and fire at the door to get through, eh? Well, that's excellent. Now, I wonder... I wonder... Can, does this rotate it the other way as well, to the left? Oh, it does! I, that wall's a crack in it, so I'm assuming... That means there's a secret in here that we can acquire. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, game. Give me that treasure. Wonder what it is. Gorgon Iron Phoenix Feather. Phoenix Feather. So we need six of each. So anyways, I think that does it for this episode. I know it's a little shorter than most, but we did get a lot done. We got Medusa's Gaze, and we stormed the docks, destroying lots of Minotaurs and Ogres slash Cyclops creatures. So if you guys enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for some more nostalgic gameplay. Until then, folks.